What I want to talk about now is ventilated floorboards. Unfortunately, well, I've got a solid one, so I can't show you. <laughs> I couldn't find a, a ventilated ones at short notice. So basically, it's a standard floorboard, but instead of the solid part, it's got mesh. And what it means that any vora falls onto the floorboard, it actually then goes through onto the grass below. And um, the reason why it is useful is because, first of all, varroa are blind, so they can't see a bee. The way they find it is by vibration. So if a, and a certain number get groomed off or fall off and on a normal floorboard, would just land flat there. But as soon as a bee walked past, they would leap on and then be back in the system again. But if you have a ventilated floorboard, the mites fall straight through and don't get back again. And estimates done overseas is that probably accounts for about 10% of the varroa. It's not a control method on its own, but um, if you're adding it to other things like breeding or some sort of chemical treatment, um, that extra 10% may tip you over the top um, for, for starting to reduce varroa levels, varroa numbers faster than the varroa can reproduce. Um, yeah, so lots of beekeepers in New Zealand started with ventilated floorboards. Unfortunately, um, you can't actually, I don't think anywhere in New Zealand can you actually buy them stock. But um, a lot of beekeepers just made, it, made their own, cutting a hole out and putting mesh over the top. So a great non-invasive method of controlling varroa. Um, probably doesn't work as well if it's really cold because you're leaving them all, all year round, of course. So it probably makes it a little bit hard for the bees to keep it warm. And in our New Zealand climate, it's probably not an issue. But if you're in um, Scotland or somewhere, it could be tricky. So a great tool, once you've made it, you can use it. And as I say, it accounts for probably 10% of your varroa control.